Does your Samsung tablet screen randomly turn black in the middle of using it, only to come back on, then turn black again in the loop? Does this only happen when you're using the tablet on battery power? If you answered yes to both these questions, your tablet may need a new battery. I'll show you the steps to follow in order to replace a battery in your Samsung tablet. First, you need to find a replacement battery. You can type in the name or model number of your tablet into a site like eBay and buy a battery there. You probably also want to buy a battery that includes a few battery replacement tools. The main tool you're looking for is a plastic pry tool. Once you receive the battery, it's time to replace it. The process is generally the same for all Samsung tablets and involves prying off the back cover. I'm demonstrating on a 2015 Galaxy Tab A 8 inch, but you can look up the specifics on your tablet yourself. Okay, so to begin with, if your tablet has a SD card slot, that's generally where you're going to want to start with your plastic pry tool. Um, you kind of want to stick it in there um, and twist it around to try to pop off the locking tabs that lock the, the back cover into the tablet. It took me about 10 minutes of prying and pulling with this plastic tool to finally get the back cover off. I'll go ahead and speed up the video now so you don't have to watch me struggle for 10 minutes. Um, but you just gotta be patient um, and take your time and don't pull too hard on the, black, the back cover uh, or else you could crack it. Now that you finally got the back cover off, uh, you need to go ahead and remove the battery connector uh, from the tablet's motherboard. You can use a pair of tweezers or your plastic pry tool to do this. Uh, and then once you get that removed from the motherboard, you're going to pull up on this tab here um, and try to pry the battery out with your hands. Uh, the battery is stuck in there pretty good, so you're going to have to use your hands uh, and try to work around the battery itself, um, but you'll eventually get it out. You can see on this new battery, it's got a date code of 2018, so it's pretty new and it should work very well on this tablet. On my replacement battery, the wires coming out of it were a little too long, um, so you kind of see me struggle to get it in there. You just want to make sure that that connection to the motherboard is seated um, completely. Once you get the battery seated, you just want to make sure that you can turn the tablet on and that it works. Um, if the tablet does come on, all you need to do now is snap the back cover on. I found that if you use the palm of your hand and really push down on the back cover, you can get it to snap in uh, really nicely so it doesn't come flying off. Once you've got all the back tabs snapped completely in, you're good to go and you're ready to use your tablet just like before. It's been about a week since we replaced the battery in this tablet and we haven't noticed any random restarts or black screens so I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, replacing the battery uh, fixed our problem and I hope it fixes yours too.